Okay, we gotta get this right the first time because I have to meet a friend in an hour for sushi. And I don't wanna be late because I can't stand when people are late for me. Anyway, hopefully this goes well. Hey guys, it's Chi Chi Doll. And today's video is gonna be a video about my career. I get asked sometimes about what I do off of YouTube because obviously you guys know I don't do this full time. So I decided to actually go ahead and do a video um please excuse the back i'm trying to cover up the things i will talk to you guys about later on but yeah so this video is going to be all about my career and i just want to talk about it and give some information and probably help somebody out there so this video is going to be about my career so if you guys don't know um i don't know if many of you know i um, am a clinical well actually i'm a licensed graduate social worker and <clears throat> i graduated from grad school about two years ago and i decided to go back to school so that i can become a pharmacist so this video is going to be information that somebody who came from a non-traditional background to get into pharmacy school not everybody who goes into pharmacy school started off as a science major there's arts um there's political science whatever have you law a lot of different people going so this is kind of like my video of how to help you guys get there so i want to just talk to you about this series this series is probably going to be a couple videos um i was thinking about making um, like a Q&A type thing so I just kind of jotted down some notes on my iPad and I have some on my phone so I'll try to stick to what I'm saying okay so first thing is I decided to go back to pharmacy school last year and I knew when I wanted to go back I had to finish some classes now when I first initially went to college I um, was uh, um, I was going to school I wanted to go to school for pharmacy but I didn't get into the schools that I wanted to and the one school I did get into was so far away my parents didn't want me to go away. So I stayed at home and I did um, a switch of major to nursing. So a lot of the nursing courses kind of correlate with pharmacy except there is a little bit more heavily based on the sciences. So I'm going to just talk to you about how I did them and what um, prerequisites I took. So I'm probably going to list them here or I'll probably list them down below. Um, basically, you're going to have all your classes that are in science like general chemistry, organic chemistry, biology, microbiology, um, your arts and humanities, your electives, micro and macroeconomics, things like that, calc, pre-calc. Um, and if I'm missing any, I'll just list them down below. So for me, when I did it, I actually started off doing all those classes and then I stopped because I thought I was going to go into nursing school. So I also applied into nursing school and I got into three, but I didn't get into the one I wanted. So I'm just like, I'm not going to go into, sc I'm not going to go into that school. Cause that's not really what I wanted to do. So I decided, okay, I grad, I went to grad school. I changed my major again to social work. I did really, really well. Um, I'm not going to give you like details of my GPA because I think that's kind of like, I don't know, it's a privacy thing with me, but I, I, I did above a 3.5, let's just say about, let's just say that. And um, I got into my one year program, did social work. I did fairly well in that um, program, also a GPA above a 3.5. And I did that for a year, graduated, sat for my board exam and everything, passed it, and I started looking for work. So technically, I've only worked full time for about a year and that's when last January which is January 2013 I decided to go back to pharmacy school so I was looking at the classes that I needed so for my own point the only classes that I needed because I completed everything else was just the general chemistry one and two organic chemistry one and two with both labs um, I also needed microeconomics pre-calc calc one um, bio two and ethics an ethics course so um th those are the things that i did now there are different type there's a lot of different types of pharmacy programs now there are the traditional four years or three-year program or the zero to six-year program the zero to six-year program is basically somebody who graduated from high school 
went into college, knew they were going to become a pharmacist, and they decided, okay, I'm just going to apply to the school, go online, and then just stay into that program. The only thing, the good thing about that is that once you are in that school, they automatically have the program. You don't have to worry about applying um, to other places and stuff, just as long as you keep a certain GPA, and also you don't even have to take the PCAT. So with the other pro options, which are the four year and three year, that's usually people who go to other schools that don't offer the PharmD program, which is a doctoral degree, which is a terminal degree. And what you have to do is the two to three years of um, prerequisites, depending on what school you go to and um, apply into the program. Now the four years is um, a four, a four year school obviously takes four years, so you would do your um, prereqs and then the additional four years to finish. Or you can do the two to two to three years and do the two year, um, sorry, not two year, three year program. Now the three year program is very accelerated, so if you're the type of person who um, who is not really strong in the academics, I wouldn't suggest doing that because it's that program is very stressful. It's a lot of classes, your class times are shorter, and um, you basically have to pass it in order to go to the next one. So there we go. So those are the type of pharmacy um, schools that they have. So yeah, um, all the prerequisites, all the information that you guys have or need, I'll put them down below. And if you guys have any other questions, just leave them down below, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!